A miter saw is a highly specialized tool designed for making angled crosscuts, but when it comes to choosing between a 10-inch and a 12-inch miter saw, there are some important factors to consider. Before we get too far, do you know what a miter saw is? A miter saw, also known as a chop saw or drop saw, is a specialized power tool used in woodworking, carpentry, and other trades for making precise crosscuts and miter cuts at specific angles. It's designed to create accurate and clean cuts in various materials, primarily wood, but also plastics and some metals. Miter saws are commonly used for tasks like framing, molding, trim work, and other applications where precise angled cuts are required. The key features of a miter saw include a circular blade mounted on a pivoting arm, a rotating turntable or base that allows the saw to pivot left and right, and an adjustable miter gauge that allows the user to set specific cutting angles. Miter saws can make straight crosscuts, angled cuts, miter cuts, bevel cuts, tilting the blade to create angled edges, and compound cuts, combining miter and bevel angles. Miter saws come in various sizes and configurations. The two main types are Standard miter saw. This type allows the blade to pivot left and right for making miter cuts at different angles. It's useful for tasks like making precise angle cuts for frames, moldings, and other decorative elements. Compound miter saw. In addition to pivoting left and right, a compound miter saw also has the ability to tilt the blade to create bevel cuts. This is especially useful for projects that involve cutting beveled edges on materials. Miter saws are available in different blade sizes, with the most common being 10 inches and 12 inches in diameter. The larger the blade, the wider and thicker the materials it can cut. Miter saws can be stationary or mounted on stands for improved stability and accuracy. Overall, miter saws are essential tools for professionals and DIY enthusiasts who require precise and angled cuts in their woodworking and construction projects. They significantly speed up the cutting process and ensure consistent results. Let's explore the differences and advantages of each to help you decide which one is the right fit for your needs. Now, let's dive into the differences between a 10-inch and a 12-inch miter saw. 10-inch miter saw. Starting with the 10-inch miter saw, it offers some distinct advantages. One of the key benefits is speed. Due to the smaller blade size, a 10-inch miter saw spins faster, resulting in quicker cuts and smoother edges. Additionally, the smaller blade provides better balance, leading to more precise and straight cuts. A 10-inch blade is also more cost-effective both in terms of purchase and maintenance. Blades are generally less expensive, and sharpening them is more affordable. 12-inch miter saw. Now, let's take a look at the 12-inch miter saw. A 12-inch miter saw offers more cutting power and a larger cutting range. It's capable of handling larger and thicker materials, making it ideal for big cutting projects. The larger size and slower blade rotation make 12-inch miter saws suitable for cutting hardwood and challenging materials, such as laminate and plywood. However, there are trade-offs to consider. 10-inch blades are more common and affordable, and they're suitable for trims and similar tasks. On the other hand, 12-inch blades can be more expensive and harder to find. In the end, your choice will depend on the types of projects you're working on and your budget. So, whether you opt for the efficiency of a 10-inch miter saw or the cutting power of a 12-inch miter saw, both have their strengths and are tailored to different needs. Remember, the right choice between a 10-inch and a 12-inch miter saw ultimately depends on the size of your projects and your preferences. Choose the one that aligns with your needs and gets the job done effectively.